the pigeonhole principle and the birthday problem. Okay, so let's get back to one of the questions we, we've been asking you f a few times with uh, specifically with n equals 2 and n equals 3, right? Now let's consider the general case. So suppose I have n pair of socks. Each pair is different from the other pair. So how many socks do you have to pick out to be sure that I have at least one matching pair? So let, I'll, I'll let you think for maybe a few seconds. Alright, so let's think about the worst case. Okay, If I have n pairs, and if I pick uh, maybe n uh, socks, it can happen that I get uh, a sock of from, from the, the first pair and the second pair, and so on, up to the nth pair. And so in the worst case, if I pick n socks, it's not enough. They are not enough. But if I pick one more, if I pick n plus one, is it enough? Yeah, we we, we prove uh, a statement similar to this when when we have n equals three or four, right? So um, the same argument goes. So if you have if you pick the first n socks and they're not match at all, then I have all possible n piece of socks from every pair. So the la the next one will will match a pair. Okay. So this this uh, this scenario is is commonly uh, appears in in mathematics. So um, they they have a name for it. Okay. So this is uh, what uh, mathematicians call the pigeonhole principles. So the setting is like this. So if you have uh, n holes, and if you put uh, uh, n plus one pigeons into these holes, so at least uh, Two, you go to the same same box. So let's. Uh, so if I pick one, so maybe. So if I put say nine pigeon in here, so at least one must. Uh, at least two must share the same hole. Okay. So the pigeonhole principle says, uh, if in, in general, if you put n plus one objects into n boxes, at least one box get more than one objects, and this is quite obvious, right? And you can prove it. Okay. All right, so let's see uh, some example of its usage. Okay, so um, assume that nobody is taller than uh, 250 centimeters in a group of um, uh, 251 people. Uh, there are at least two people whose heights differ by at most one centimeter. So I'll let you uh, think about it and, and, and try to prove it. I'll give you the, uh, the proof in the next clip. See you.